Hello and welcome to part 2 of our Dragon Quest discussion. This time we're going to go over everything that's not the characters, so I hope you enjoy. So, with the Fighters Pack, we also know that there's going to be stages and music uh, coming along with it as part of the bundle, and so uh, presumably they're going to be around the character that they're based on. So for Erdrick, um, it's going to have to be a Dragon Quest uh, stage, and I think this is a good time as any to sort of bring up this. Will Erdrick in Smash be Dragon Quest in general, or will it be Dragon Quest 3 specific? Because Persona is obviously listed as Persona 5, and a lot of people have pointed out that Final Fantasy is listed as Final Fantasy 7 specifically. Well, but then it would be Final Fantasy, I mean, uh, Dragon's Quest 3, which would be weird. I feel like. Well, like. Oh, three? Was... oh for 3 specific, you mean? Yeah, like, like yeah, um, okay. will all the Fighter Pass content be Dragon Quest 3? Specifically from Dragon Quest 3 and none of the others. Like, because, I mean, this doesn't this doesn't mean that stuff like Me Fighters and Spirits have to be limited to Dragon Quest 3 because they're not part of the Fighter Pack as far as we understand it. But like with Joker being just Persona 5 listed and Cloud just being Final Fantasy 7 listed and all of the con Final Fantasy content what limited amounts there is is all from Final Fantasy 7 it's like will the same happen here then are they just going to ignore 11 well 4 through 11 and I guess <laughs> 1 and 2 have very of like set in the same sort of locations as 3 so they'll just get in through association I think if you're getting Dragon Quest 3 and I don't I'm not going to pretend to know all the right stuff but I don't think it would be a huge undertaking to get the other ones um Especially because the characters, like the monsters, are used in all the games. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, like Spazzy said, it would be kind of weird to just have it be like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate X Dragon Quest 3. Then you're kind of like, okay, what about Dragon Quest 3 specifically makes it, you know, stand out as the thing you can only uh, represent well, Smash? I mean, it's this. you could say the same thing with Final Fantasy 7. I feel like it was more <laughs> clear cut in that case. Maybe was I'm it? wrong. Yeah, because here's 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 the thing: the, the world of Final Fantasy VII is only native to Final Fantasy VII and to Final Fantasy VII spinoffs. Uh, Alpha Guard is the setting of Dragon Quest One, Two, Three, and Builders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's. I mean, that's true. I mean, that's part of it coming with the Erdrick trilogy, I suppose. But it's also but it's also not the location of four through eleven. <laughs> so it's almost like. Would then uh, I know it changes throughout. Like the one in Builders is set in a timeline where the villain wins, I believe, and that's why everything's destroyed. So it's obviously like things have changed and it's different uh, style. I, so... I heard, I heard, I heard. By the way, in Builders, that I, I, I'm not sure. I've never played Builders, but that you can uh, receive the uh, title of Erd Brick. I heard that. Yeah, <laughs> that makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> I really need to brush up on my Builders lore. <laughs> But um, in Dragon, because if I if I understand correctly, in Dragon Quest Three, Aleph Guard is like dark or something. Yeah, like so it's the um, dark world. It's it's kind of weird. Um, how do I explain this? Okay, so so <laughs> so the world is actually okay. If, if if you took my recommendation earlier seriously to play this game, then don't listen for like the next minute or so. But even though the game's super old, but it's not gonna make a huge difference. Okay, so the world is, from what I can understand, is, like, layered. Uh, Alephgard is on the bottom, and then their world is on the top. Um, when you beat the final boss, who's not really the final boss, there's a crack in the earth that you fall <laughs> through. And you turn, and you you fall through to this other world, which is, no joke, like a flat earth. Like, there's, like, there's like <laughs> ice walls around the side. Like, it's stuff you've actually heard. And um, it's, it's basically like a map where you can, like, hit the end of it instead of... Um, Instead of take your ship around to the other end, like the world above, so it's almost yeah, like it's not a globe. Yeah. <laughs> so it's almost like you have the Earth, you have the Earth, and the core is a piece of paper, and that that core is Alephgard, and I don't know how much that matters, but who knows? That could just be like, oh, we didn't want to have the who knows, but you fall down <laughs> and you basically go to that world, and that's kind of how you become the Erdrick hero is in the other uh, the other part of the game after the final boss you thought was the final boss, you fall through to that world, and it's like a really depressing, dark, desolate place. Uh, Erdrick kills the uh, Zoma, who's like the Dark Lord at the time, and then it becomes, oh, you know, her, you know, hooray, uh, Erdrick's the hero. And that's how that all starts. Okay. 
So they just like to get the sun coming through. They just crack a big <laughs> hole in the fucking yeah. water above, and they never they never go back. <laughs> there was some kind of earthquake, and some of the guys like fell down through or something. But you don't really hear about that. It's weird. <laughs> They're just dead now. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that the first world would be access through a crack in the top world. But I didn't... <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Weird Checks game. out. Yeah, yeah that tracks. <laughs> it's a fantasy game. <laughs> well, I guess um, with Alephgard then, because uh, I guess the thing with Alephgard is it's like a whole continent. <laughs> so what do you think um, they would do if Alephgard is presumably the stage? I, what... I would say that it would be an area there, probably Charlock Castle. Or maybe Tantagel? Yeah. I had three um, that answers would be... to this, but I'll okay. let you... See, I'm liking okay. the idea. I was gonna say, well, that, I, I, I'm liking the yeah, idea just... that you start in the top world, and then you fall down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be like the Mario Sunshine stage. You just <laughs> Actually, is it, is, isn't this exactly uh, Castle Siege? Yeah, just Castle Siege. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Castle Siege with Dragon Quest. You can stage around. morph into Flat Earth. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, um, yeah. But my, my, my two from having played the original uh, Dragon's Quest slash Dragon Warrior um, and just a little bit of research would have been Charlock Castle, which is kind of the the big final, you know, evil purple castle. I know we already have Dracula's Castle, but you can't have too many, you know, evil, yeah. <laughs> evil purple castles. And that was the um, final dungeon for Dragon's Quest and Dragon's Quest uh, 3. Mm. And it was all... Um, yeah. And then uh, Tantagel is, I feel like, Super a super Sakurai type of to pick because he likes to pick something that everyone knows, and uh, Tantadel is like like it, it, it's like a village, it's like a castle and then a surrounding village area, but it's where you start in the first Dragon's Quest and it appears in all three of, of the first three games, like in every part of the uh, Urgic trilogy. Mm-hmm. So so that's yeah yeah you coming... go Poe, you know more than I do. <laughs> that's all right <laughs> um so going off of that idea I, I had like three ideas for this stage um yeah so you were talking about sakurai going for things that are familiar and something you'll see a lot in that game is you'll die you'll go back to the castle you'll meet the king you'll leave the castle and the way the tantagel castle is is across the river is like the demon's castle i forgot you had a name for it um charlotte was that it yeah okay it's charlock charlock yeah and basically across a, those two castles are like across a river and the entire plot of that game no joke is to build a bridge just to get to that castle like <laughs> you can't swim or do anything because the boat isn't built there so you would think that they would build a boat just to go across that one river so that's the entire thing is you go around a continent to get like <laughs> to get to artifacts to get artifacts to play a song to cross a river that's the entire plot is crossing a river just to get to a castle it's like uh, so. it's like in some games where you start out and the goalpost is like just a mess with you. It's like at the start, but you actually have to go around the whole stage. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's, except instead of a level, it's the whole game. So I I would think <laughs> that Castle Tantagel would be a level with that kind of river in the background, kind of cutting through and crossing. And you see the dark castle in the background seems like super kind of you know anime tropey, but in the same vein as like you know something you would see constantly in Dragon Quest. So that was my first idea: was you being in the castle. Just My to, next, um, before yeah, you jump, before you go to your next pick, I just wanted to bring up because I just discovered this: uh, Tantagel Castle and Castle Sherlock are both in Captain N, the Game Master. Oh, good. <laughs> the, <laughs> really? Those are the dra- yeah in the Dragon Quest episode. Those are the two locations. Ah, good. So <laughs> Simon, Simon and Pitt so will be very, very familiar. <laughs> yeah, Simon and Pitt have already been there. <laughs> There's like a piece <laughs> of trivia on the um, Dragon Quest like wiki. There's that's a Dragon just... Quest episode. Yeah, they just says in oh. the Captain N Game Master episode, three men oh. and a dragon. The end team arrive in like Tantagol, and um, Simon Belmont purchases water skis while Pitt <laughs> buys a magic helmet. Oh, okay, so they're familiar with it. <laughs> yeah, I'd be very upset if uh, when you play Simon on the stage, you don't get magical water skis. <laughs> <laughs> he had like a totally different design. He looked like um, like a pilot or something. Like, what was the yeah. deal? He was like, um, yeah. what's it from DuckTales? Yeah, launch pad. Launch pad Simon. No, oh, God. Oh, when that that's that's going to be the mod. That'll 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 <laughs> cause me to mod my Switch. Launch pad, Simon. <laughs> but, all right, sorry, uh, Poe, what were your yeah, other yeah. two choices then? <laughs> my second idea was pretty straightforward. It's like Delfino, where you have a platform that goes around and it visits different kind of areas in the continent. 
don't know how necessary that is, but it is a big world and a lot of the game revolves around getting to other continents, different islands and stuff like that. So um, they might go with a thing where it is like Skyloft or Delfino and you're kind of visited around a world. Um, mm -hmm. My third idea was think like PictoChat, but with the Monster Quest battle screen. My Monster <laughs> Quest, my bad, it's called Dragon Quest. With, yeah. a, with a, the yeah. monster you're fighting is, is the slime, like, on the screen, or it could be some other enemy. Think also, <laughs> like, the virus boss, computer virus and Kirby Superstar, where you're kind of doing battle in front of it. But I was kind of thinking, like, the black text box would be the floor, like, Picto Chat, And, you know, effects would happen uh, in the background and kind of play out, you know. Because I feel yeah. like if there is a stage, it would draw from, like, the, the, the classic Dragon Quest. Because I feel like that's what it's most notable for. Mm-hmm. No, I, I thought about doing one for the um, battle screen because it's so so iconic. Definitely. If, um, some way of representing that where monsters appear in the background, even if it's just actually like the field, <laughs> like but it's just styled to look like that, a walk-off stage. Yeah. And then in a similar way that you have um, <laughs> like Pokemon appearing in Spear Pillar, uh, have different Dragon Quest monsters appear in the background. And do something that affects the stage. Yeah, that would be neat too. Yeah, that way you can also get slime there as um, to do something. Yeah, you, if he's not in the <laughs> yeah, if, if he's not in the moves, because someone's gonna be like, oh, why isn't he? You know, a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, yeah. why isn't that the character? You know, it could be a me costume. He could be a, a, an attack. Mm -hmm. uh, he could be a stage hazard. He could be a stage. He could be a controller. He could be anything. Yeah. No, I think PS4 <laughs> controller specifically. I didn't want that. I didn't want that joke to go quietly. GameCube, GameCube controller, <laughs> <Yeah>. slime. <laughs> no, I think um, I, I, I personally think slime will be a me fighter hat, Same. like how we got the chocobo hat when um, Cloud. Uh, that just seems like the most obvious thing. They're going to have to do slime in some way, so a me fighter hat seems like a good idea. Uh, but no, the, um, I like that idea for a stage. I think uh, now that we've talked about it, I think it has to be. Um, either that or uh, Tantagale with the other castle in the background. I actually really like that idea. Yeah. Seeing castle. That's my that's my safe bet. If he mm. wants to be experimental, which he does sometimes, um, he would go with the uh, not the flying around like Delfino. It's probably the least likely. The second most likely is probably the battle screen. Yeah. No idea. So um, that so that's for the stage. I guess rather than ask what music you want there, uh, I'm better off asking how much music <laughs> do you think we're going to get? <laughs> because not only is this square where all the music rights are all over the place, but the uh, composer for Dragon Quest is very infamous on not letting his orchestral originals go, or anything that's not a MIDI leave japan <laughs> yeah i'm not too versed in this i think it was like a cd sales thing where he wants to keep it all in one place mm -hmm. and i'm not sure that it would show up anywhere else because not even in dragon quest games themselves does it show up so you sure can yeah well but this is well, smash as much this is the interesting thing because dragon quest 11 <clears throat> doesn't have an orchestral soundtrack it has a midi soundtrack but the switch version of dragon quest 11 does have an orchestral soundtrack oh okay that's one of the special gimmicks for Dragon Quest S, 11S, is that it, you, it has the original orchestral soundtrack that was recorded as its main music, okay. which makes me wonder if they're going to such extents to get it on the N Nintendo exclusive, I wonder if they would also get that in-game as well. Like, if there's just two songs, maybe the orchestral version of the main theme and then the MIDI version of the main theme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean... He could do that as a way to knock out, like, oh, let's get both generations represented with a little amount of work. But um, yeah, I do think it's possible to get more than two songs uh, if they do go the MIDI route. I mean, I'm not going to pretend I know all this stuff or what that takes to get that. But um, mm -hmm. I think it's possible because I mean, the mobile games have it, so who knows? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, you need like the overworld theme, the town theme. There's like a lot of different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could have said that for Final Fantasy. I think at the Final very Fantasy, least yeah. we'll get the battle the main. or the battle theme for Dragon Quest, and then yeah. the, the main overture for Dragon Quest yep. that's used in every game. Those are the two that I feel like we're definitely getting get, going to get, whether it's MIDI versions or orchestral versions. It's just yeah, whether we get the town like... version, the overworld theme, the final boss song. 
The two songs I really wanted to see are um, the overworld theme in Dragon Quest Three and the battle theme in Five. They're both kind of like they pick up in tempo, especially the battle battle theme in Five. Yeah. The that comes back to the question, I guess, is will this be generic Dragon Quest or just Dragon Quest Three? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's kind of what it comes down to. Is, uh, whatever yeah. they whatever they decide to pull from. Yeah. I'd like to think, because of the getting the orchestral music in Dragon Quest XI on Switch, that they've organized getting more than just two songs for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think they want to repeat a Final Fantasy VII disappointment. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel maybe the rights for the music isn't so all over the place with Dragon Quest. Because yeah. I feel like it's probably just had one composer its whole life. For the main games anyway. Whereas I think Final Fantasy's composer has changed throughout the years. So the one who made the original Final Fantasy theme isn't the one who, who worked on 7 and did the music for that. And I mean, I might be completely wrong. I think Sugiyama has a protege. That's about as far as I know about it. I haven't looked it up myself, but I think there's somebody else. Hmm. Well, yeah. Um, I think no- Nobu made both was the composer for most of the well-known Final Fantasy music, but there might be some other people too. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to think what the re- what the issue could have been with getting music um, for Final Fantasy and how that could affect Dragon Quest, because we don't really know. We can only assume it's rights issues. Because yeah. there isn't really any other reason why they couldn't get anything Final Fantasy. Like, I'm pretty sure it's rights issues is why we don't have any Nomura <laughs> artwork in Smash, and why they had to use the clouds like <laughs> yeah. actual renders from Smash instead. They might be willing to throw us a lot more Dragon Quest stuff in, because they want to put out in the West. Like, they might mm-hmm. want to give us the whole palette, because they, mm-hmm. they want us to go out and buy the games, obviously, so that might be an incentive for them. Yeah, well, that, that's a good segue into um, Spirits, because while they haven't confirmed that Spirits will be added into the game via DLC. The fact they've been updating it with spirits, like we got Mario Party spirits, Pokemon Let's Go spirits, <clears throat> mm-hmm. we got a Mario Kart spirit randomly. Like I feel like there's precedent there that they could add spirit characters in, and I think they are for Persona. I think they'll probably add the rest of the Phantom Thieves at least. Yeah. So if, I'm wondering if for Dragon Quest, whether or not... I mean, we'd get Erdrick, obviously, as a fighter spirit, and we'll probably get Slime. I think we'll get some Monsters. Kind of spirit. Because yeah, I know, you like, th- there's art books specifically for monsters, because that's, mm-hmm. like, a, a big thing. It's like, the Toriyama design monsters, like, you know, really cool. So yeah. I think that, um, I think they would have, like, you know, golems, slimes, uh, chimeras, stuff like that. You can see golems, because they're quite iconic. Yeah. For, um, Dragon Quest. They were in builders. Think- Anything that made it to builders, probably. <laughs> and then, Well, that's what I'm thinking. I wonder if any other protagonists will appear as spirits, or any of Erdrick's allies. Mm-hmm. Whether they could appear as spirits in the game in some way. Yeah, you got a warrior, priest, uh, mage, sage, you got like a clown, <laughs> you've got a pole dancer, you got all sorts of things. <laughs> do, do his allies have any specific names or are they literally just classes? Oh, you, you name them. Like you get them from ah, a bar, okay. you recruit them, then you name them. Yeah, it's the same with... Um, that was one of the things that always put me off of Dragon Quest a little bit, actually. It's what put me off of Nine, because all the <laughs> characters you get in that, you just recruit from a bar at the beginning, and I was just a bit like, oh, like, who are these people? Yeah, they have very minimal roles. Like, there's one part in the game where you have to go uh, and do some sort of, like, task in a cavern by yourself, and um, all your party members line up, and then if you could talk to the guy in front, he's like, oh, good luck, good luck. It's like all That's like all the dialogue you'll ever hear from any of your party members. <laughs> is, is like the guy in second place. <sighs> Yeah, so maybe maybe they maybe they just would we could ignore it and just focus on the monsters because that's where all the I guess charisma comes from. <laughs> I do hope they. Um, I think the coolest. Well, there's there's other characters in other Dragon's Quest games. If it's not just three, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's a martial arts guy who looks like a God. What's his name? Yamcha from Dragon Ball. I hope he gets <laughs> in as a spirit. It would be fun. Um... Yeah, uh, I think I I like to think there'll be some spirits. Spirits of the Dragon Quest are the one thing I'm not a hundred percent sure on. But I, I I do think maybe monsters would probably just be it. Go for yeah, slime, I'm waiting go to see what happens golem. with Persona. Yeah, Dark Lord. Yeah, we don't really know until we see what happens with Persona. It may very well just be they have 
Joker and that's it. They may do Joker, yeah. Jack Frost, Morgana and that's it. They may underplay it really a lot. It depends on, I guess, it depends up to Sakurai more than the thing and how much they want to invest in new spirit battles. But I'd like to think they would because they've, they've done it already. It would seem really random if the only only extra spirits we ever got were the fucking Mario Party ones. Yeah, <laughs> that would be really <laughs> weird. I do think that the spirits would probably be free. Because yeah, they want they, they want to free, have yeah. us to buy the DLC, and people like to complete their lists and stuff like that because they backpedaled on their exclusive uh, Pikachu and Eevees. Like, oh, people don't like that because turns out <laughs> when you collect a thousand three hundred of something and you don't have two of them, it's kind of a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I agree. I think they'll um, or or even if you, you they unlock early for the DLC, but after time, like because you know the they eventually made the Pokemon ones. It could be a timer. Yeah. They could make it a timed thing. That'd be good. Um, I guess any Me Fighter costumes. Uh, I suppose that's the last major thing they could add for Dragon Quest. Slime uh, hat. I, I, yeah, I already said yeah, slime hat. Any other heroes or anything? That, uh, oh, yeah, the hero from Eight. I feel eight, like there'd be yeah. a lot of. Yeah. I think that I think... was the one that had the most uh, international success. So I could see that being their their second. Yeah, I think Erdrick's armor as a Me Fighter costume. Yeah. Is um, a very possible one. Wasn't there something like that in uh, Smash Wii U? It was a kind of a golden armor. It did sort of look like that in a way. That was Gilgamesh from uh, Daruga's Tower. Is that the game? Yeah, for, uh, Oh, Tower. it was an actual thing? Yeah, I mean, yes. maybe there okay. was just an armor set in um, he, Smash he's definitely anyway. Thinking, he's definitely thinking of... We're talking about the horns and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right. that's Daruga, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's an Amco game. Yeah. It's actually a fun game. <laughs> I thought that was a generic <laughs> thing. I wasn't sure. It, it was a very random um, uh, <laughs> uh, addition. Addition, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> it's not like there's a new Daruga game or anything. Um, so. so for other me fighters, you could have some of the generic classes. Like I really like the warriors. Uh, the pink armor it looks super unique. It has like little wings on the helmet. Very, <laughs> uh, very like kind of chibi in a way. Really cool mm-hmm. to look at. Sword fighter. Um, you know, you got your priest, you got your, your mage who can either be like an old man or like a little girl. So you've got like, <laughs> you got like your old man design, he has like his beard and, you know, generic wizard. And then the little girl is sort of like the same thing, kind of like a witch. Yeah. I think there's one of them in, both of them are in Dragon Quest Eleven. I think there's an old man I, and yeah. a little girl. Uh, yeah, no, um, I'm not expecting too many heroes. The Dragon Quest Eight hero might be good, but I do think Slime and Erdrick's armor are the two. I think we'll definitely get alongside. I mean, remember Final Fantasy? We only got Chocobo. Yeah. And, so. <laughs> and Gino. <laughs> yeah, and Gino. Yeah. Who yeah, it doesn't really count, but it kind of does. <laughs> we'll probably get Gino, Gino come back. Gino will come back. Yeah, on, yeah, I think that is the. I think that's the point. That's uh, that's going to be the foot that stomps the Gino dream. When he <laughs> yeah, comes Gino's out. me costume will come yeah. back. I, I'm pretty sure of it. I have maybe a feeling that's we... why they withheld a lot of the third party me's because they want to keep us guessing maybe about DLC. You know, Maybe. I, could be crazy, uh, well, I think I think, I think, they, I think it, third parties want the money. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it might just be um, a rights thing. Like it's easier to give do money when it's specifically from DLC mm-hmm. in the base game. So just ha- re bring out all the third party me costumes like Hiachi, um back into the game with uh, DLC me's instead. Yeah, I don't want to make it sound like everything is planned around uh, keeping speculation alive because that's not so important. <laughs> but um, more so that um. Uh, you know, obviously they want money for it, so... Yeah, yeah, no, I know. I know what you mean. So, yeah, I guess, is there anything else from Dragon Quest that they could add into Smash? Um, um yeah, I'm trying to think. The Yeah, basically, where most of my thought was, was the stages. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's a good opportunity to do something unique or, like, honor the classics or something like that. I feel yeah. like uh, if it does get in Smash, it's going to be a little more classic oriented because that is what it's known for is inspiring the genre. So I think mm-hmm. he's going to point to that. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be all Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3. Maybe I not even see that. that much 2, just Dragon Quest 1 and 3 uh, related. Uh, Luminary could be a me or something. Maybe a palette swap. Who knows? Depends if Maybe. they use the, the teen looking Erdrick because then you have the heights yeah. matching. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the the big question, I guess. Will they go with the teen one or the young one? Well, the young one I think would be cooler and look more unique. You can get more out of the bigger one. You could have the female yeah. variant. If I don't that's think what they're they would selling do a action full... figures of. I, yeah. would, I would guess. 
I don't think they're going to do you know, a funny. full model swap for any others, but I think like a purple outfit for Erdrick based around the Luminary, like a purple and black one, is possible. Yeah, definitely for. I else. could actually see Erdrick's armor uh, being a me costume, whether or not Erdrick is in the game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just true, that yeah. alone, which makes it really yeah. hard for me to believe that it's not going to be a palette swap. It could be one of those <laughs> things that just both like Samus or you know Meta Knight's mask. Yeah, yeah, like it's just really like iconic the armor so it's got to be somewhere was i right about that is samus and me um yeah there's yes. a samus me there's a okay. samus and link me okay yeah and a captain, Fal- captain falcon and fox all have me's as well in a mario hat just you know yeah, accessories mario like hats, yeah well and daisy now that she's in the game yeah. she has uh... mario luigi wario peach and daisy all have me's meta knight mask but no lucina mask which is really weird hmm but well, they do have a Krom costume. They do have a Krom costume, yes they do. <laughs> Lucina's mask at least shows up on Kirby. Yeah, that's true. It appears in one of her taunts. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, Spazzy, have you got any sort of um, final things that they could add for Dragon Quest that we haven't covered already? Um, I don't know. I- I'm interested. I don't know. Part of me is thinking that they might go Luminary. I'm still just kind of caught up on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I- yeah, like I said, I think that There'll be some me costumes, maybe for sure some other characters in the series, um, some other heroes and supporting characters. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, Erdrick's armor is very likely as a me costume. Like I said, uh, maybe that's how they'll bring the armor in, and he won't have it as his base. Maybe he will, and they'll just double up on it. <laughs> um, I can't really think of anything else. You know, I, I think it'll be pretty standard. All we'll right. have the stage, you'll have the music, have a couple spirits. Yeah, as far as series, like you know, ideas for a. Uh character past characters go i feel like this one's pretty straightforward yeah agreed all right well then i will let's start wrapping this up then it's been a a long discussion about dragon quest but it's been a pretty good one i'd like to think so i want to thank you for joining us pode because otherwise i think this might not have been such a good discussion (laughs) yeah no problem I've at least played three, so I think that's the main thing. <laughs> yeah, which is sad. I can tell you all about the uh, flat Earth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I played part one, so I I feel like I knew some of the places. <laughs> <laughs> I got halfway through nine, so I know what a slime is. I also got halfway through nine. I don't know why. I got kind of bored yeah, same. with it. Which wasn't a good first impression for Dragon Quest for me. Yeah. If you want to get the idea of the series, I would just pick up one. And you, let's say like you don't want to put a lot of effort into it right away. Just get one. You can beat it pretty quickly. Um, mm. The thing about Dragon Quest, it's a game about like uh, riddles and you know questing. The riddles I really like because they are kind of obtuse at times. Um, I tend to do pretty good with you know cryptic NES stuff, but um, that may not be for everybody. So mm-hmm. if you got to look a few things up, you know. Um, I mean, yeah, that's fair. I'm, I mean, I might play Eleven when it comes to a Switch. I'm debating whether or not yeah, I, I get it when it comes to Switch or wait for it to come out on Switch and then buy it on PS4 anyway because it's cheaper. <laughs> it depends on what what the other extra new content that's exclusive to the Switch version is. But we'll yeah, see. they might pull out the stops now that... Uh... You know, no, I'm not going to say it final, but like yeah. if Eric Now that Erdrick is in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a habit of thinking he's already in. <laughs> All right. Well, with uh, with all that, I want to thank everyone who's been listening for listening for this discussion. It may be two videos, considering the length. Uh, we'll have to see. I guess you'll know, and I'll know uh, soon. So, thank you, everyone, for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below about what you want to see uh, from Dragon Quest in Smash. If you want Dragon Quest to be in Smash, uh, your thoughts on Erdrick, you know, all of that. I want to give a special shout out to all of our patrons, in particular the super patron, Duke of Dorks. Link to his channel is in the description below. Like, comment, all of that YouTube nonsense, and always remember to return to the source. <laughs>